Bombs and fields are better than manor houses are better than walls and towers. Why? Bombs and fields. They're the lower level of these. Right? I mean, you do get the development from level four. But with the manor house, you just make so much more money. I'm sure the manor houses are farmland only. Oh, and they come with death growth. Never mind. It just grows over time, so it's not immediately 5%. No, manor houses are better. What do you need to merge cultures? Right, so we need to get more cultural acceptance. That is something we should look into. So we are currently Norse culture, which is this. We don't want to diverge. We want to hybridize. So how do I select Dutch? I'll click on you there. So we need more cultural acceptance. Cultural acceptance is not currently rising because we don't have anything in common. We don't have a language in common. We don't have a heritage in common because they're Central Germanic, not Northern. Which means on our council we need you to promote cultural acceptance. Which is unfortunate because I'd really like you to increase development. Although, there's a max development level, isn't there? What is it? That's going to be tied to technology. Which is not that. It's this. And it's based on public works. Penalty at 20 development. So if we get to 20, then I think we'll do the hybridization. Because we can reach that pretty quickly in farmland territories. Now, the interesting thing here is I want to be converting. Which we're going to do. But I don't want to promote culture. I want to do cultural acceptance. Except not yet. I want to do development at home. Which will take quite a long time. We're well, by far and away the best steward we have. Nine years with a 26 learning guy. Yeah, this is the problem with Orsa True. How do we reform? So we currently control three of them, but I have to control those lands directly to reform, don't I? Huh. Right, yes, that's that problem. Won't dev grow faster in accepted culture? I'm not sure. Didn't say anything about it there. No, there's no penalty for wrong culture. And in fact, this being Dutch, I get the Dutch bonuses because it's Dutch culture, which means development actually goes up higher, quicker. Much quicker. It has the agrarian buff and it has the bureaucratic buff. So we get a 45% uh, development buff here. Looks like the capital is Zeeland. You're not wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I know there's a way of changing capital. I just don't remember how. I think it's done on here. And then... There. There we go. Amsterdam's the capital. The Dutch apparently do development well. Who would have guessed? Well, they are a very developed people. Uh, Edgar Hilario Rosta, thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Learning their language does help. That is true. Um, is there a way I could do that?
I can apparently learn it from him. But I'd kind of prefer to have someone Dutch. We need to get these people starting to marry. Um, so we want to sort by Dutch. With no penalties, there is nobody. Oh, it's probably because religion. Mm -hmm. No, it says all. So nobody would accept that's Dutch right now. I don't have any Dutch vassals yet, but I reckon that I'll start getting them over time. So we'll just hold off, especially as we're currently looking for champions. Decision available, raise runestone. I'm saving my money for the time being. How are we doing military-wise? We still need to raise some more. Okay. <clears throat> that is fine. A liar's pay. I was shocked when I caught Willem van der Beek trying to steal from a travel chest of a visiting mayor, Nupa. He blamed a game another child had invented, but could tell he was lying. Right, I should have minions in like the temples. I need to check that. So he means deceitful. We can get him honest, so we can get him humble. What does honest do? Diplomacy but lose intrigue. You are a fighter. You are terrible at intrigue. You do not want deceitful. I'd much rather you were honest. Bossy, honest, trusting. He's a good kid. Do I have any temples? Two. You are Norse. Damn it. You are also Norse. I can't win. <coughs> Dodge concubine, maybe. Not available. I think that we need to start converting the Dutch to also true. Once they have converted, then I think we will start getting more of their characters to us. Champion has arrived. Welcome. Oh, jeez, you're expensive. Fury of the Northmen. Mordred, you are a great warrior, but do your enemies truly fear you? I've seen Dagger work himself into an inhuman fury on the battlefield, and I've seen countless foes flee before his howling form. Witnessing Dagger's berserker gang is like witnessing the fury of Odin himself. Join me in front of the fire. Let us evoke your fury. Let me fetch my bear pelt. We sit by the fire, chanting words of great power. I grit my teeth and close my eyes. Shivers run down my body. Something is stirring inside of me, embracing me. I wake up from my frenzy, dagger by my side. You have summoned a truly impressive rage. Those logs stood no chance. Apparently, I worked into a frenzy throughout the entire night. At least we won't be lacking for firewood for weeks. And I am now a berserker. The adventuring berserker viking with a 49 prowess and 27 marshal. How much is it to manually build a city? A lot. Like 500? 400. Which I could have done except I spent all my money. We just need to keep going raiding. It's fine. We should be able to raise funds pretty quickly. But like I said, I want to maintain a uh, sum for mercenaries. Especially when I start getting a bit older. Like when I hit 50, maybe. You're actually neutral. Income neutral, which is good. Iker is ready. How much are you going to cost me? 85. Jeez, these guys are expensive. 
Worth it, but expensive. I need one more. Who are you and what do you do? Slovakian. You are... No, you're a zealot. You're a non also true zealot. Not interested, but thank you. 2,200 kills. Jeez, I just saw that. Boreas, the sunny day. We're going to practice. Gain a little bit more stress once more. A sudden shock. Calm down! I'm in charge. Experienced rider, and we gained another martial lifestyle. Let's go for envelopment to make my men at arms more effective, and then let us raise them. I'm not going to wait for the levies, I can't be bothered. Less lying around and more raiding. I'm going to go and move that rally point to Amsterdam, then I'm going to go raise local raiders. 1,500, right. Can we take Wessex on yet? Maybe? It is still Alfred. 29 Marshall. I think he still has me beat on that. It's close. I now have 50 prowess against his 19, but he's, he's a bit of a thinker. Hmm. He's Reaver as well. Oh, that's unfortunate. I don't think you can raid, can you? What am I doing on the island? I don't own it anymore. Got lands, now independent. Chieftain Toki took it over. Because I did a Varangian adventure, which means you abandon all of your old territories completely. It's actually one of the things about that CB I like, because it really represents just the Norse just uplifting and just going somewhere else. Can you raid his feudal? Yep, because I'm still also true. It's either because I'm Norse or because I'm also true. I think it's because I'm also true. Warmonger. No, Warmonger just means I can do the invasions. I know I can, I'm just not sure why. <laughs> um, right, do we go after Brittany again? Or do we go a bit further afield? I can carry 150 now. Do I go for West Francia? So let's let's do that. I can just walk. Let's just walk. And it's winter. How long? January. Not long. Hi, France. I mean Belgium. Fire and blood. Bring me the slaves for Amsterdam. We'll get Amsterdam built up nice and quickly, we'll get that development going. That will really pay for everything that I need it to pay for. A child of my dynasty, a daughter. And we need to go to the subscriber list. This is going to be my daughter, Swift Train. Double T? No, one T. May you grow to be strong and wise. West Frank, you only has a thousand troops. I actually outnumber them. Let's go. I'll do the church first, that's fine. There's a ton of money here. Absolute tons. We've already got 96. Was that a grandkid? Oh well, it's fine. And yeah, this will be it. Full. 142 ducats. Like that. Ha! <laughs> Love it! And we did get a prisoner, yes. Uh, actually, we got several of them. Let's... Wait, are some of these Dutch? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Catholic. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, sorry, not Catholic, French. French is the bit that matters. Dutch. 
She's seven though. He's twelve. So these two are people that we basically want to stay here. Markart. Get our zone. Ugly, curious, greedy, content. That's actually a really good combo. Right, you're going to convert and recruit. We'll get Beatrice as well. She's pensive. Well, she's just a kid. And then we'll go ahead and ransom these. You can't pay for everything. You are the Duke of Upper Burgundy. We're definitely going to want you to pay for that. You can pay. Okay, they accept. You can pay. Jacques. Oh, Duke Hardoon's been in jail for a long time. And you still can't pay off your debt? You're, you're earning money. Better get saving. Ka-ching. Right, let's sail off. Uh, let's go for... No, now we're sailing. Go for over here. Getting stuck in. There was a commotion among the children today. Markart was attempting to preach among his fellow youngsters and became a target of a small fight. Oh, am I teaching you now? Oh, you become brave? Heck yeah. I like the kid already. Oh no, that was Wilhelm. Never mind. He was beating up Markart. Oh no, he was standing up for Markart. I don't remember. Text. It happened. Oh, there was another champion. Do, 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 do. There was. 80 again. My gosh, you guys are expensive. <laughs> Worth the cost, though. Oh, Rouen wants to have a fight. It's. Oh, is this going to count as winter? Yeah, it is. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yep, that's a 48 17. The Winter Soldier is here, buddy. And he don't take kindly to interlopers. 49 for 1,300. That was a stack wipe. Small harbours in Middleburg and Harlem have been built. Eiriko wants to go Varangian. Go for it, buddy. Have fun. Send a postcard. Oh, we can actually upgrade this too. Oh, that's expensive though. But that is good to know because Amsterdam can probably do that too. Once this place is finished building its manor house, we can go up to the trade port. Right, because we can build them an era early. Yes. Fire and blood. Slaves for Amsterdam. Oh yeah, we can loot these even though they're occupied. <laughs> Who are you even fighting? What is this war? Civil war? Uh, Bavaria artifact claim war. Bavaria Moravia versus West Francia. And then the war for Grand Princess Bertha's claim on the Kingdom of West Francia. Amia, Anjou, Neustria, Rethel, Sens versus West Francia, Aragon, Byzantines, and Unglum, which you are currently winning. Artifact claim war, I can see how that will break the Carlings apart even more. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a cause for strife. Attack them now for Belgium. I could do, actually, you're not wrong. Oh no! Angrima died! Ah. Let's put you in charge of that. And... We need a new court physician. We have a backup court physician! It was you! Yes, Cadog! Aha! Planning ahead! Weirdly, you need to click on them twice for it to take... Oh, I need a new court tutor as well. Um, Cadog's 
good for this, except for the fact that you are Welsh. I think so be it. The tutor can be Welsh, so long as the guardian isn't. Raid or trade? Oh no, we're, we're, keep, keep going. It's a settle for my stress. And we're virtually full, so let's head home. That's going to take casualties, so let's not do that. Let's go that way. Are any of the Indian nations worth playing? I mean, everyone in the game is worth playing. It's just that the Vikings, the Norse, just have by far and away the most content. Because they were already pretty fleshed out, and then they released Northern Lords, which just fleshed them out even more. So it feels very biased towards the Norse right now. I'm sure that they'll add more like content packs in the future to enhance the flavor for the different cultures as well in the same way that they did with Northern Lords. But Royal Court took them such a long time to develop that it might be a while. I don't know why Royal Court took so long. Well over a year. Um, right. I think that you guys should probably stand down and regain some of your strength. We have plenty of money, plenty of prestige to keep us going for the time being. Hardoon. It's going to take you forever to pay that back. So fine, I'll allow it. Champion practice. The clanging of mail and the clashing of swords rings in my eye. My <laughs> Rings in my eye, yeah. eyes, yeah, sure. I, I hear things in my eyes. As my champions practice their arms, I study them intently trying to ascertain each one's particular strengths and weaknesses. There can be little rest for them, for as soon as the bell is rung to signal the end of mock melee, the stable doors are opened. It is time to bring out the mine mounts. Bring me my armour. I've not ridden on the Quantain in years. And there was something else I was going to check. Right, that... Kid that we brought in, my courtiers, where are you? Not you. Marcot. You're still 13. Yeah, we just need to remember to do something with you. Oh, and we have a couple of other people that we can now ransom. For a weak hook. Uh, don't really see any reason to keep you fine. Cool. Uh, is there anyone I can fight for a, in a duel? Oh, my Hofgard Eye does not endorse me. That's unfortunate. Please spray them. Thank you. Okay, how is Amsterdam doing? Amsterdam's development's already up to six, so it's gone up two since we took over Holland. And with that, our income and our levy numbers should be rising and rising and rising, and they are. Now, did the building here complete? That's the big question. No, not yet. Soon. But not yet. When can we upgrade this? Not yet. Boreas, end of a life. My trusted mare, Boreas, is getting old. Her stride is not as swift as it once was, and the fire in her eyes is fading. If I want to keep her lineage alive, I should find a good match for her. So find a strong stallion, agile, uh, endurance, fierce. I'm going to go with... Well, strong is levies, endurance is stress reduction. So we don't know what agile or fierce does, but I think I'm going to go with strong like that. Levy buff was like 10% extra levies for having a freaking horse. Cool. And there we go. We can now get sappers, which means that heavy infantry, spearmen, archers, and skirmishers cause siege progress. I don't need no catapults. I got Vikings instead. Where was that? Oh, I could still actually inherit Gotland if that other guy doesn't get an heir. Interesting. The development is definitely rising pretty quickly. It's nice. And then the higher the development is here, the faster it will spread adjacent, right? 
There is an adjacency bonus, so that's EK2. Nope, from Neighbours, plus 0.2. So yes, one of the things that I really like about Crusader Kings, which I kind of wish that some of the other Paradox games did, is you can establish like one area as like a, a, a focus. And then once you've brought up the, that area, it will start to um, radiate outwards. So if you have high development in one province, then it will start to radiate outwards. Like in CK2 technology, you get technology in one province and it will radiate. Uh, the northern content completely unrelated to the location of Paradox HQ, of course. Yeah, I mean, Sweden's clearly not overpowered. My beloved mayor, Boreas, has passed away, but she leaves a strong foal behind. I can see her personality in the young one. My friend is still with me in that sense. The Warhorse. Admiring the mare that now follows my every command, I muse on what to call her. Um, let's go with something historic. Xanthos. Achilles' other horse. There we go. It was Boreas and then the other Boreas. That's how I'm seeing this. Should make a rune. Yeah, it gives me extra prestige. It gives me a lot of piety. All right, there we go. Every rune stone tells a message of some significant event in the life of the commissioner. From the smallest peasant to a yarl like myself, the stone records all. Speak of my vanquished foe. My ascension to the throne of Holland. I mean, it's got to be that. Now that I've decided what to put on my rune stone, the question remains where to place it. Monuments to a nobleman, such as my rise to the Isle of Holland, should encourage people to serve the ruler through thick and thin. They're best placed in urban areas, where mere youths can be inspired to turn out for the levy. Of course, one or two spots do spring to mind. Oh, this is definitely going to go in Holland. This is the story of how I conquered you. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when we are live again in the future. If you've really enjoyed this and you would like to see more of this type of thing, then please do consider subscribing. It helps the channel out, lets me do more of this kind of content. If you want to check out the Patreon, you can do that too. I do have a YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash Viking, where I'll probably upload this series. We shall see. Um... But there's also a whole bunch of other content, including some older uh, CK stuff. Then finally, I have the Discord, which is where my community hangs out. They're a very cool bunch, and it is a pleasure to see some new faces there. So do come and join us. You'll be more than welcome. I'm going to go and see who else is streaming right now, and we will go and raid them then. I will be back again in one hour, so I'm going to go off and grab something to eat, because I is hungry. And then in one hour, we will be back, and we're going to be playing some more Total War Warhammer 3. Probably continuing with Tsarina Katarin of Kislev. In the meantime, we're going to go and raid Shenrir, because Shenrir is also playing CK3. He's actually playing a multiplayer game with Cringer. Oh, I'm jealous. That would have been a fun one to be in. So head on over there. Say hello from Mordred Viking. I'd love to see his channel absolutely lit up by the Viking raid, which you can do by copying and pasting Viking raid. Ah. Just like this. Or if you're a subscriber and you have the long ships, you can bring those along. Instead, as is appropriate for the game we have just been playing. Uh, in the future, we're definitely going to need to change that to, like, Dutch Norse raid when we raid after a CK game. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Till then. <laughs>